In this problem, we're being asked to evaluate this definite integral. So there's a couple ways of doing this. You know, one way is to use you know partial fractions. In this video, though, I'm going to do it with a formula that you often find in textbooks. The formula says if you have the integral of du over 1 minus u squared, this is equal to 1 half times the natural log of the absolute value of 1 plus u over 1 minus u, and then plus our constant of integration, capital C. So this is a formula that you pretty much see in most, most calculus books. So here we can just directly apply the formula because instead of uh, u, we have x. So this is equal to 1 half natural log, absolute value, 1 plus x over 1 minus x. And then you don't need a plus c because it's a definite integral. So I'm going to put a bracket here. And instead, we'll put the numbers, so 5 fourths and then 2. OK, let's keep going. Just going to put a line here so we don't get confused with what's going on. <laughs> so I'll leave the 1 half on the outside. So we're plugging in 2 now. So it'll be ln, absolute value. So plugging in a 2 for the x, you get 1 plus 2, which is 3. And then 1 minus 2, which is negative 1. OK, so we'll go over that again. So 1 plus 2 is 3. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. Yeah, it looks OK. Minus the natural log of plugging in 5 fourths. Um, think of the 1s as 4 fourths. OK, so it's 4 fourths plus 5 fourths, which is 9 fourths. 4 fourths minus 5 fourths, which is negative 1 fourths. <laughs> Ridiculous. There we go. Good stuff. Bracket. Again. 4 fourths, oh, I'll just show you, here you go. So it's so it's 1 plus 5 fourths, I'll do it on the side here so you see it, 1 minus 5 fourths. And then think of the 1 as 4 fourths, so it's 4 fourths plus 5 fourths, which is 9 fourths, 4 fourths minus 5 fourths, which is negative four, 1 fourths. <laughs> this is equal to 1 half. The absolute value here makes it nice because this just becomes the natural log of 3. Right, the absolute value of negative 3 is 3, so you can drop the absolute value. It's all positive. You have 9 fourths divided by uh, negative uh, 1 fourths. So let's do it up here. 9 fourths divided by 1 fourth. Let's ignore the negative for now. This is really 9 fourths times 4 over 1, because when you divide, you multiply by the reciprocal. So you just get 9, and there's a negative there, but that's okay. It goes away because of the absolute value. This is the natural log of 9. Okay. We can actually um, keep doing this by hand. You know what? Let's do it. Let me show you some cool stuff. Watch this. Natural uh, one half. Um, you can you can manipulate this uh, a couple different ways. Um, one way would be to write this as the natural log of three over nine using quotient rule for logs. And so this is one half natural log of one third. This is just one way to do it. And that's it. You can leave it like that. You can keep manipulating it. I mean, another way I was thinking of doing it was doing this and then bringing the two down, etc. I mean, it's all kinds of stuff you can do uh, with logs. You can go on forever. So that's the answer. Let me let me put it into my calculator um, to get the numerical uh, value. Uh, so this is t times ln 1 over 3. Yep, that's the right answer. I actually have the, I actually have the decimal answer. I haven't done this problem until now. And this agrees with, with the decimal answer that I have. Uh, this is from an old book uh, from the 80s. Uh, fun times. I hope this video has been helpful to anyone out there in the world who is working on some math. Good luck.